Hello. My name is Sally. I have seven children, three boys and four girls. I am happily married to my dear husband, Jack. We got married in the Mormon temple. Yes, I am a Mormon. I joined the Mormon church after I met Jack. Jack is from an old Mormon family. He told me that he would not marry me if I did not become Mormon. So I met the Mormon missionaries and learned about the Book of Mormon. It is a translation made from golden plates that an angel gave to Joseph Smith. The plates were an ancient sacred history of the ancestors of the American Indians. Joseph translated them from their original Egyptian language into English with the help of God. He put his magic stone in a hat to close out the light and then he could read the translation off the surface of the stone. That was quite a miracle, wasn't it? I was certainly impressed. So I joined the church and Jack and I got married. We got married in a Mormon temple because we wanted to be together in heaven. Only couples married in the temple will be together in heaven. My parents were sad because they were not allowed to come to the wedding, because only worthy Mormons can enter a temple. I was sad because they wouldn't join the church and pay their 10% tithing on their gross income for a year and stop drinking coffee so they could come to my wedding. After we got married Jack and I started having our children. Jack told me I should give up my college scholarship so that I could start having children since motherhood is a woman's purpose in life. I really wanted to finish college, but I had taken an oath in the temple always to obey my husband. So my full-time job is raising my children to be good Mormons and good followers of the Prophet. We have a living Prophet leading our church, you know, and we teach our children to do whatever the Prophet says, just as Jack and I always do. I am teaching the boys that they must keep themselves morally clean. They must not touch themselves in that way ever or they will be unworthy to be a missionary for the church. And if they don't go on a mission no Mormon girl will want to marry them. I also have to teach the girls to stay morally clean. They must always wear very modest clothing so that they don't attract male attention. And if any male tries anything improper with them they must fight them off and never allow themselves to be raped. It is better for them to die fighting off a rapist, because if the rapist succeeds, she will no longer be morally clean, and no Mormon boy will want to marry her. She will have to confess to our bishop that she has lost her virtue. I don't understand why people think us Mormons weird. We are normal folks and we have a happy life. We Mormons aren't polygamous. That was long ago. Men having more than one wife is only in heaven. Joseph Smith is in heaven right now with his thirty or so wives. If I die, Jack could marry another Mormon woman in the temple, and then she and I would both be his wives for all eternity. I can't say that I like that idea, but I guess that's the way God wants it to be. Jack thinks it is okay. Our fellow Mormons are good friends and we like to be around them. We feel more comfortable with them than with non-Mormon people we know. They support us and help us. Especially our bishop is helpful. He used the power of the priesthood to give me a blessing, and I was able to cut my anti-depression medicine in half. I'm Sally. And I'm a Mormon.